ProPresenter makes it easy to import or export your documents, playlists, and templates. Plus, you can export your slides as image files and even capture video of your output to utilize inside other programs or post online. First, let's look at how to export our document. So I'm going to go up to File, down to Export Document, and you'll see we have a few different options. The first option is to export our document as a bundle. This will export our document, but it will also include any media contained inside the document. Next, we can export as Pro 5 or Pro 6 files, and this will export your document, but it won't contain any media that's inside the document. Then we can export as a plain text file, or we can export as slide images. If I select this, you'll see that we get a few different options here. The first is to export JPEGs with slide backgrounds. Now this will look exactly like our thumbnails here, but these will be high quality versions of each slide. The next option is a PNG without slide backgrounds. Now since PNGs support transparency, this will be just our text overlaid on a transparent background. It will not include any backgrounds you can see on your slides. Now you do have an option to include background media cues for either of our file types by selecting this box. So I'll do include background media and I'll select this JPEG with slide background and we'll hit save. It's gonna export those out. I'm just going to move this over here. You'll see it's created a folder for our document. If I double click on this, you'll see all of our slides here that have their black backgrounds just like our slides do. And one of our slides included background media so you can see that it's included it on that slide. Now not only can you export individual documents, you can export entire playlists. So we can go up here to File and we can do Export Playlist. You also can right click on any playlist and do Export Playlist. The next thing you might want to do is to export out your templates. And so all you have to do is go to File, Export Templates, and you'll get a pop-up that shows all templates inside the program, including our CCLI template and social media templates. You can select which ones you want to export and hit Export. Now to import any of those files, it's very easy. All you have to do is go to File, Import, Import File. You'll see I have a couple different files on the desktop here. One is a Pro 6 file that does not contain any media. The other is a Pro 6X file that does contain media. So I'll select this one. We'll hit Import. And you'll see it imports our document and it's brought in the media queue as well as our slides. The one other way that you can export out a presentation is by actually recording video of the output of your presentation. So I'm going to go down here to like my teaching notes and let's say I wanted to export this out to use someplace else or share it online. All I have to do is go up to actions and go down to record output. This will bring up our output recorder and the first thing you need to do is set your target. So I'm going to go in here, we're just going to name this a test file and hit save. Next we can choose our codec and we have some high quality professional codecs here that we can use. So we have ProRes 422HQ all the way down to ProRes 422 Proxy. Now this HQ file is a very high quality file, but it's also going to be a very large file size. This could be multiple gigabytes. Your lowest quality option you have is all the way down here to proxy, and so that'll be a lower quality, but also lower file size. To get a balance between quality and file size, I would recommend starting with H.264, where you're gonna get a small file size, but still a high quality recording. And you can test this out to figure out which version you want to use. Next, we can change the size of our document that's being recorded, and we can change out our frame rate. Now we can just hit the record button and it will begin recording. You'll see a counter of how long it's been recording. We can start clicking on slides here and it will record our playback. I can close this out and continue recording and clicking on stuff as our document and our presentation goes on. And when we want to finish recording, we can go up to actions, down to record output. You'll see that our timer is still running here and when we want to finish, all we have to do is hit stop.